Kepler's days of searching for exoplanets are gone as Kepler is out of fuel and has unworkable reacting wheels. It recently made an extraordinary discovery. But what is the new incredible discovery? NASA's Kepler Space Telescope was a space observatory intended to discover planets beyond our solar system, with a special emphasis on discovering planets that potentially resemble Earth. From its inception in March 2009 through its decommissioning on March 15, 2018, the telescope was in operation for just about nine years. Thousands of extrasolar planets, or exoplanets, have been identified by astronomers using Kepler alone since its inception. The majority of them are planets between Earth's size and Neptune's size, which is four times Earth's size. Many of these planets were identified in an area of the constellation Cygnus, roughly the size of a palm held at arm's length, where Kepler spent the first four years of its mission. How Kepler Got Its Start Kepler was created by NASA scientist William J. Barucki, who had previously worked on Apollo science equipment. Barucki began campaigning for a mission to look for exoplanets by waiting for transits, which occur when a planet passes around its star, as seen from Earth in 1983. NASA rejected Barucki's plan four times because the agency required numerous proofs that the mission was technically and economically possible. In 2001, NASA gave its final approval for the mission. Kepler was part of NASA's Discovery Program, which finances lower-cost spacecraft for solar system research. Kepler was chosen at the same time as Dawn, a mission that visited Vesta and Ceres. Kepler's third law, named after the scientist Johann Kepler, states that you can determine a planet's average distance from its parent star, assuming you know the length of its year and the mass of the star. One of the Kepler Space Telescope's superpowers is its ability to estimate the brightness of a star to a fraction of a percent. Precision photometry is required to detect the small dimming generated by a planet passing in front of its star. Jupiter, for example, passing in front of the Sun, blocks around 1% of the Sun's light. In the early days of exoplanet discovery, scientists were most successful in locating massive gas giants, Jupiter-sized and bigger that were hiding near their parent star. With the advent of Kepler's sensitive photometry, astronomers have discovered several super-Earths, or planets that are somewhat larger than Earth, but also have a rocky surface. Kepler's discoveries also allow scientists to begin categorizing exoplanets, which helps in knowing their origins. New Planetary Discovery from the Grave Recent research headed by the Joe Drell Bank Center for Astrophysics revealed the remarkable new finding of a relatively close twin of Jupiter orbiting a star at a massive distance of 17,000 light-years from Earth. The exoplanet K2 2016 BLG 005 LB is nearly equal to Jupiter in terms of mass and distance from the Sun. It was identified using data from NASA's Kepler Satellite Observatory collected in 2016. The exoplanetary system is twice as far away as any ever observed by Kepler, which discovered over 2,700 confirmed planets before shutting down operations in 2018. The system was discovered via gravitational microlensing, which was predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, and it is the first planet detected from space in this manner. The paper was accepted for publication in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, and is now accessible as a preprint on arxiv.org. To discover an exoplanet utilizing the microlensing phenomenon, the researchers examined Kepler data from April to July 2016, when the spacecraft was regularly monitoring millions of stars around the center of the galaxy. Following the development of the specialized analytic methods, suitable signals were ultimately discovered last year using a unique search algorithm discovered in a paper headed by Dr. Ian McDonald, who was an STFC-funded postdoctoral researcher at the time and collaborated with Dr. Karens. One of the five new potential microlensing signals discovered in that investigation clearly indicated the presence of an anomaly compatible with the existence of an orbiting exoplanet. Five worldwide ground-based surveys looked at the same area of sky as Kepler at the same time. Kepler, at a distance of around 135 million kilometers from Earth, 
detected the anomaly significantly earlier and for a longer period of time than the teams monitoring from Earth. The current study models the combined records completely, concluding that the signal is generated by a distant exoplanet. Kepler was also able to watch without being interrupted by weather or daylight, allowing us to properly measure the mass of the exoplanet and its orbital distance from its home star. It is essentially Jupiter's exact twin in terms of mass and distance from its Sun, with a mass that is almost 60% that of our Sun. NASA plans to deploy the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope later this decade. Using the microlensing approach, Roman has the potential to discover hundreds of faraway planets. As an extra science activity, the European Space Agency's Euclid mission, which is scheduled to launch next year, may conduct a microlensing exoplanet search. Major Discoveries We now know how often planets are around other stars thanks to Kepler's discovery. A planet can be located surrounding every star. That's a significant accomplishment, and it wasn't acknowledged previous to Kepler, said former Kepler research scientist Nick Gaudier in a brief statement about the telescope's retirement. NASA published two dozen news releases reporting newly found exoplanets, typically in huge batches, throughout the first seven years of Kepler and K2 operations. The final data from Kepler's main mission was released in June 2017. The number of verified planetary discoveries made by Kepler has been increased to 2,335. The total number of planets, including prospective planets, was 4,034. According to a NASA news release, the K2 mission lasted as long as the original mission and increased Kepler's total number of examined stars to over 500,000. Another significant success was the discovery of the vast number of planetary systems that exist. Within the limitations of the equivalent of Mercury's orbit, planet systems can exist in tight formations. They can even orbit two stars, similar to Tatooine from the Star Wars universe. The telescope also discovered that tiny, rocky planets like Earth are more frequent than huge gas giants like Jupiter, which is an encouraging discovery for scientists searching for life beyond Earth. Kepler 62e and Kepler 62f are two strange worlds found by the telescope, both of which are water worlds with a worldwide ocean, unlike Earth, which has a large percent of dry land. The planets in the constellation Lyra are around 1,200 light years distant and are roughly the same size as Earth. Long term, the star KIC 8462852, commonly known as Tabby Star, was observed by Kepler and exhibited a strange pattern of fading and brightening. Astronomers are still attempting to determine the cause of the strange brightness variations, which have been linked to everything from comets to an uneven ring of dust to an alien space megastructure. The Pleiades, the well cluster of stars only 400 light years distant and visible to the human eye, was discovered because of Kepler's exceptional sensitivity to changes in star brightness. Kepler's observations were the most accurate yet in terms of tracing their fluctuations. New observations of exploding stars and sound waves within stars were also supplied by the telescope. What Kepler Telescope Has Achieved Kepler identified 2,662 extrasolar planets at the end of its mission, contributing to almost two-thirds of all planets known at the time. Kepler 22b, the first planet discovered within the habitable of a star like the Sun with a radius 2.4 times that of Earth. The first Earth-sized planets discovered were Kepler-20e and Kepler-20f, with radii of 0.87 and 1.03 times that of the Earth, respectively. The first two planets to transit the same star were Kepler-9b and Kepler-9c. Kepler-186f was the first Earth-sized planet discovered within its star's habitable zone. Within the habitable zone of their stars, Kepler detected between 2 and 12 planets that are about the same size of Earth. That's all for today's video.